MQTT, what is it and how do you install it? If you want to cram for your next MQTT Home Assistant assignment, stick around because this is Lab Notes. Welcome to Lab Notes. My name is Jeff. This is the first video in what I hope becomes a regular series. The idea behind Lab Notes is to give you a quick hit of information so you can get what you need and get back to automating the boring stuff. Because sometimes in your home assistant journey, all you need is a quick how-to on installing an add-on or integrating a new device or simply just some tips on how to improve your home assistant experience. And that's what I hope to use these videos for. Anyway, I've already spent way too much time off topic. This video is all about MQTT or Mosquito. But what is MQTT? MQTT is a lightweight messaging protocol meant to help different platforms communicate. In essence, it works like Twitter for the Internet of Things. Your Sonoff switch can publish its state to a topic on the MQTT server. Then other services or devices that have an interest in what that Sonoff switch has to say can follow or in MQTT parlance, subscribe to that particular topic. But unlike Twitter, everyone using your MQTT service will just accept anything that's published there as fact. This makes MQTT the perfect place for disparate IoT devices and services to hold a conversation and to stay in sync. Which brings us to how do you set up MQTT for Home Assistant. The installation has three parts. First, you install the MQTT broker. Then we're going to create a user. Then we're going to install the MQTT integration. Now, the broker doesn't have to live on your Home Assistant instance, but there is an add-on that makes installing it super easy. If you're using the supervised version of Home Assistant, go to Supervisor, then Add-on Store. Find Mosquito Broker, then click the Install button. If you're planning on just using MQTT with local devices on your network, then I would suggest leaving the configuration as is. Although I would leave this anonymous set to false, which means everyone who interacts with your MQTT server is going to have to have a login. If you're going to expose your MQTT service to the internet, however, I would take a closer look at these configuration options and make sure that your setup is secure. The add-on does give you the ability to use an access control list to define which users can read and write to which topics. And you can enable SSL for added security. But again, for most use cases where everything is going to be local, I think leaving the configuration at the default settings is perfectly fine. When ready, click Start. After that, you're going to want to create a user. For that, we'll go to Configuration. Then people, click add person. The user you create here will be used in any place in which you want a service or device to connect to your MQTT service. Although out of the box, any account already set up on your Home Assistant instance can log in to your MQTT server. I suggest creating another account just to keep everything separate. And again, you can always set up an access control list to control what users can write and read to which topics. However, to set that up requires editing some configuration files and installing some other add-ons so that we can add files to our Home Assistant instance, so we're going to skip that for now. Oh, and if you forget to name the person on that first screen after you clicked Add Person, Home Assistant will get angry until you correct your mistake. After we have a user set up, all we need to do now is to install the integration. Head back to Configuration, then Integrations. In most cases, Home Assistant will see that you have an MQTT broker and prompt you to configure it. If it doesn't, click Add Integration, search for MQTT, and then fill out the information. If you follow this guide to this point, broker is the IP of your Home Assistant instance. Username and password is the account you created in the previous step. Then you hit Submit. But in most cases, you can skip all of that and just click Configure. And then it's done. And now you're ready to start leveraging MQTT in Home Assistant, which means you can start adding add-ons like Z-Wave, JS to MQTT and Zigbee to MQTT, just to name two. And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what other types of topics you want me to cover in Lab Notes. And until next time, go automate the boring stuff.